Welcome. We know that ideal lumped element circuits have ideal wires that don't get modeled. Only the resistance, inductance, capacitance, voltage, and current appear in the differential equations, along with time. But if the wires are not modeled, how do we know how the circuit is connected? How do the differential equations distinguish between the series RLC topology and the parallel RLC topology if wires are not included? The answer, of course, is Kirchhoff's laws, which take the connectivity of the circuit into account. Applying Kirchhoff's laws brings the topology and connections of the circuit into the second-order RLC differential equations. The differential equations model the connectivity of the circuit without modeling the physical wires. Let's look at this in more detail. Ideal lumped RLC circuit element models reduce all the physical characteristics down to one quantity, resistance, inductance, or capacitance. No dimensions, parasitics, nor material properties appear in the branch relationship equations for resistors, inductors, and capacitors. For this series RLC circuit, Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, sums the voltages around the loop. This sum models the series connection of the three components R, L, and C. For the parallel RLC circuit, Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, sums the currents entering or leaving a node. This sum models the parallel connection of the three components, R, L, and C. For both Kirchhoff's law equations, KVL and KCL, substitute in the branch relationships for each term and simplify to get the final, second-order, RLC differential equations. These differential equations model the circuit connectivity without modeling the physical wires in the ideal lumped element series and parallel RLC circuit topologies. Thank you for watching and learning with us.